I thought I'll just do like a really simple carving. Fruit carving is another aspect of fruit business. Although new, the demand for it has increased over time. Do really. Okay. So the first thing I'll do is just to at least get the shape of the logo in first. Ogona Arumemi is a professional baker, but she is also specialized in fruit carving. I'll take my time on this part, but I just want to do this one quickly just to give you guys an idea. So the first thing I'll do is just kind of trace out the shape. Then the cutting stage. Now it's time to carve out the petals from the watermelon. You know, there are the other types of watermelon as well, like the sweet melons. You can even do a mango, you can do avocado. You can carve almost everything. Um, it has to be strong. Mm, not really, uh, even soft things. You can, might have to adjust the design of your carving, but it doesn't really have to be too strong. Fruit carving, which is barely under five years in Nigeria, started out in Thailand. It's originated in the Far East, really. Like I said, Indonesia, Thailand, it's really very common there. Um, most of the fruit artists that you see online are Thai. Um, it's part of their culture, really. They've always done, they've always presented their fruit and their vegetables beautifully. Um, the carving tools are very easily available there. That's really where it started. Um, I think from there, it probably spread to Europe um, as people started to move towards that area and people started to learn more about it. And it's just now coming towards our side of the world, really, like over the last, let me say, five to 10 years. Um, I think the fruit displays themselves, like the fruit trees, were probably the first thing that we got used to in Nigeria. But now people are realizing there's a lot more to fruit arts than just putting everything on a tree and putting some palm fronds on top. So we're seeing more of the carvings, we're seeing more intricate displays, um, we're seeing use of more exotic fruits and stuff now, which is it's just up in the game, it's really nice. Looking to start a side hustle, the fruit business is a good place to start. Looking at the fruit business alone, it's actually quite profitable and you start making a profit from the word go. Um, and you know, that's one thing a lot of people find very attractive about it the investment is very low. If you're doing about two or three jobs a week, small, medium, even some large jobs, you're looking at making about at least 100K a week, and maybe like half of that will be profits or you know, your time, your time costs. So it just depends on how hard you work. So the challenge would just be getting the clients. Yes, exactly. And you know, that's, the same with any other business where you're working for yourself. You have to find a way to market yourself and market your services. She makes the carving look so easy, but I can see the same. I've destroyed it. <laughs> <laughs> it really happens. What now looks so beautifully done takes time and dedication. Even Popo gets the knife. We meet Poluke Adedoku at a recent wedding in Lagos. It was actually born out of the fact that we noticed people actually come to parties, eat rice and all of those stuff. People don't really get to eat all this stuff at events. At that point, we noticed a gap that needed to be filled. And so that's where we come in. You know, initially, um, people were like, you know, uh, we're not, it was not really accepted. But as time goes on, more education, you know, we educate people. And I think people are becoming aware of the fact that they need to have the habit of, you know, having to eat healthy, not even only at home alone, but also at events. 
The fruit tree is a combination of different types of fruits. Fuluke takes her craft a notch higher with a different design. When building a fruit tree, the colors of the fruit create an array of beauty, lovely to look at. Getting fresh and exotic fruits comes with a lot of challenges. Storage is one of them. Fruits very expensive. Are they available? No. Most of the nice fruits we get around are exotic. They are not from here and they are very, very expensive. And sometimes they come scarce. We don't get to bite them, you know, as when we want them. So those are one of the challenges that we have. And our market, I don't think our market is in a good shape. We shop a day to the event so as to keep our fruits fresh. That's very, very difficult for us and it's hard. We need to power ourselves to get our refugees curators working and stuff like that it's a very very huge challenge for us but I mean the business has to go on and also manpower this is not like you're serving rice and stuff at events all our staff needs to be trained so it's so much of a big deal for us you don't just pick people and then start working for us we need to train them and then get get, get them hands-on on the job before they start working so that's a bit of a challenge for us actually the only thing is the availability of exotic fruits so obviously like we're very blessed in nigeria we grow watermelons we have purples they're all the time available um but you know most of our guests want their fruit displays to include some imported fruits as well so you know strawberries kiwis blueberries grapes apples stuff like that that is expensive and not always easily available so that's one of the things that is that can be a bit challenging. The fruit tree is not all that there is. Watermelon pizza is a fruit dessert that combines watermelon, yogurt, nuts, coconuts, strawberries and grapes. And that's not all. There is what we call fruit kebab. Going into the fruit business takes training and passion. First, you need to get trained. It's very key for you to get trained, get trained by a professional. And then you need to put your passion into it. It's not so much of an easy business. There's so much energy, there's so much work that is required in the business. So you need to have your passion, you need to have your... You, you, first, like I said, you need to get trained. And then your passion is key in this business. Honestly, I think it's practice, just practice. When I did my training, I did it with a few people and um, even for me, it didn't really come naturally at first. It was not easy. It never looked the way that I, I imagined it in my head or the way the instructor said it would look. So, but the more I do it, it's, I mean, I have a long way to go. Um, I'm not perfect by any means, but the more you do it, the more you practice, the better the results you get. And it's, it's the same as with any other business, really. You have to work hard, not just that actual skill itself, but also the marketing, um, reaching out, finding customers, keeping your records, everything is just working hard. But to be successful, work hard and practice, really. There's no rocket science to it, really. But I think anybody can do it. And that's a wrap for us on Community Reports. Thank you so much for staying with us. You can start a fruits business with as low as 10,000 naira. So if you're looking for a side hustle, you know what to do. Get trained. See you next week.